Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another card making video. Today I am designing for Happy Doodle, playing with these adorable dinosaur stamps and some fun slimline dies. This is the stitched slimline trio die set. I'm taking the second to the largest rectangle and this die that creates three windows. I'm gonna put those onto this bubblegum cardstock and then tape them so that they are as close to perfectly aligned and spaced as I can and run that through my die machine. Now I have this panel that has stitching around the edges and the scallops where the scallop faces inside on the square. It's so cute. I'm going to use that as my card front today. Now I have a piece of white cardstock that's slightly smaller and I'm gonna do some ink blending on the inside. I'm using the new Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide ink, which I'm completely in love with. This color is so fun. I think they made it just for me. Maybe you feel that way too. Do you love this color? So once I have that done, I just brought in my square. I don't actually care if it completely fills the squares. I'm going to be adding a lot to this. Speaking of a lot, let's add some spotter. <laughs> First, I added some spotter with my distress sprayer and water, and now I have some bubblegum soak from Spellbinders and some electric lime soak from Spellbinders. Not only do these have color, but they also have shimmer in them, and they are amazing. So I'll add some green to that pink, and it looks so awesome on there. I love it. I hope you do too. Now I am adding some leaves to my card today using this Amazonian leaf die set and cutting that from Kiwi Crush cardstock. And once those are die cut, I'm going to set them aside to add to my scene building later and go ahead and do my stamping. So I'm using this di Dinky Dino stamp set. I'm using both of the dinosaurs, the little half of it eggshell and the sentiment dino mite. Now I have the dino time stamp set where I'm going to stamp one of those dinosaurs to be my mama dinosaur. And then I have this volcano I'll stamp from the geology rocks stamp set. Now I got a little ink in the middle of my volcano where I did not want it. So I had to re-stamp that and just be careful when inking up my stamp so I didn't get more ink there in the center. There's all the images and I am using the alcohol friendly cardstock, alcohol ink friendly cardstock from Heffy Doodle. So this is perfect for Copic coloring or any alcohol markers that you have. It's a lighter weight cardstock, which is good for alcohol marker coloring. It accepts the ink well, and it allows you to blend the colors very easily, mm -hmm. which is important when to, for me when I'm coloring out these smaller images and only using two colors, and then they blend out so nicely. I really enjoyed using this cardstock. So now I have my green baby dinosaur and a pink baby dinosaur. I think they're adorable. And then I'm gonna have my mama dinosaur be pink and green as well. So I'll color her with my lightest green marker and then add in some shadows and then her accents will be pink as well. So my darkest color here is the G14, adding in those shadows. And then I'll go over that again with my lightest, which is YG06. And then for my pinks, I have RV14 and RV13. Then for my volcano, I decided if I'm using pink and green, why not make the lava pink? <laughs> I thought it was pretty fun. So there's my pink lava, and then for the volcano itself, I'm bringing in my E markers using E33 as my lightest, and then I'll bring in my darker marker E35 to add in some shadows. So I'm really going to focus on those lines drawn in the center of the volcano for my shadowing. And I will go back and forth between my two markers a couple times to get the blend that I want and also intensify those shadows a little bit. And I really love how this turned out with the lighter colors. The first time I colored this image, I went darker. And that's in a video I did with some cavemen. If you wanna see that, I will link it in the top right corner for you right now. And you can see that video if you missed it. It's a really cute card. 
I think. <laughs> so now I'm die cutting out all those images that I colored and we'll get ready to start putting this card together. Now when I was pulling everything out to make this card I decided the front panel seemed a tiny bit plain so I took that dynamite stamp that sentiment and stamped it randomly across the front of the panel in coral berry ink. Well it's kind of in rows and that was just the look that I was going for. Now I'm gonna splatter this panel as well with some sparkle silk. So this one just has the shimmer in it. It's gonna be really subtle, but really play into that splattery look in my background. So cool. Okay, now I'm gonna stamp the word Dino Time again on white cardstock with that same coral berry ink and I'll die cut that out for the sentiment in my card. I originally had stamped it in black and I thought the pink would be a lot more fun. So I did that. I'm gonna lay out my images and start putting this card all together. I'm using my Glubert glue to add my leaves behind my windows. Um, except for one I will put on top. I liked playing with adding things to the back of the card front panel, adding them to the card background, adding it in the front, and just creating different levels of dimension. So you'll see I'm gluing some of those to my ink blended background, and then I'm adding a stamped image that says, hope your day is, to go with my die cut sentiment, dynamite, and layering those in the square with the volcano. The mama is gonna go at the bottom, and she's kind of tucked behind that leaf, and then the baby is gonna be popped up on the outside of the square, and you can see there, then I have the different levels of dimension, especially when I add foam tape to the back of this and pop it up. For my card base, I added some more splatter with that electric lime, and then I'm going to bring in some enamel dots that I found in my stash that had some pinks and greens in it, and I thought they looked super fun and kind of just played again with that look of splatter, having those big and small dots scattered around this card. So you could easily turn this card into a shaker card as well, but I thought just having those dimensional windows is also really fun if you're not into making shakers. So there is the card front. Now on the inside, I thought it would be fun to stamp a couple of those larger dinosaurs using olive ink from Altenew. And then of course, a little touch of splatter on the inside with that bubblegum silk to finish off the inside. I had so much fun playing with these bright colors colors for this card and I think those dinky dinos are so adorable. I am so glad I got to play with those and create this card. I think it's going to be a good one that my daughter could use to give to a friend and I am just tickled with how it turned out and I loved sharing it with you. So if you're interested in any of the products I used, I linked what I could below for you. So check that out. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I have new stamping videos all the time. I will see you all again very soon with the next one. Happy stamping. Bye.